Good morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working in our wooden raised bed garden. They're the older boxes, the original boxes that we built for the raised bed garden. But time to plant the spring carrots. Oh so, yes. Always look forward to that and uh, seems to be real popular. I know a lot of people have trouble growing carrots. So we have several uh, carrot growing videos in our uh, gardening playlist if you're interested in those. Today we're not going to be able to make our uh, regular carrot mix. Um, been a lot of shortages at the at the stores in terms of gardening supplies and stuff but we are going to hit the basics we're going to add just slight nutrients to the bed we're going to top them off we're going to keep the soil light and airy and uh, then we'll show you how we space our carrots in and get them planted but uh, just not going to be able to do it quite the way we would if you want to we've got a really good uh, carrot planting video and carrot soil video I'll try to maybe put a link to that in the description but today we're just going to do the best we can and uh, that's going to be the case for a lot of folks this year but we've got some great carrot seed we got those from uh, Johnny Seeds and uh, always produce good carrots for us so guys we'll get over there in the wood beds and uh, see what we got going on and uh, maybe Tina and I will have another planting contest though yeah <laughs> she always seems to plant about twice the speed I do so um, we're only going to plant two beds this year normally we plant four um, but we'll probably end up growing fall carrots too if we don't get what we need. We can always plant again in the fall. But we get about, what, 250 carrots to a bed. Yeah. So be about 500 carrots or so. And that's, that's enough if we have a really good bumper crop. But we like to have some to share. So guys, we'll uh, probably just put these in for now. And then we'll plant again in the fall. So what do you say? Head yeah. over, head over there. I'm and, ready. Uh, Get ready to plant some carrots. So guys, we're gonna prep the beds first, then we'll show you how to plant them, and then uh, we'll give you a few secrets on how you can get them up and above the ground too. So we'll head over that way. Come on, let's see what we got going on over there. Alrighty guys, we're out here at the two carrot beds that we're gonna be planting, and uh, they have kind of sunk in over the year. That is because our soil is really rich in organic material. So it tends to break down and uh, sink in from year to year, but that's fine. It gives us room to top them off. So as you can see, we've got a couple bags of garden soil, a bag of black cow, and uh, there's some in each pile, but it's easier to see over here. And we've got some perlite. So that is what we're going to add to the beds. The bed over here on the right is uh, sunk in a little bit more than the one on the left. So we'll probably add a bag and bag and a half to the one on the left and uh, two and a half bags of garden soil to the one on the right. So then we'll add our uh, bag of perlite and our bag of black cow to each one. But we've already got the ground soil already loosened up. So we'll go ahead and top them off with this and we'll get it stirred in. But we'll show you a little bit of that as we go along. Alrighty guys. We've got the soil on and uh, we split it about a bag and a half on one bed and two and a half bags on the other. That's got it pretty well leveled to the top. Now we did have some extra. So we put it in the round barrels there. You see some over there by Tina. Hey, hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> but dirt. Laying in the dirt? Yeah. Alrighty. But the next step, we're going to get this black cow on there. And we've got a bag of perlite for each one. And what we'll do is we'll put them on the bed and we'll spread them out even and then we'll mix them in. That way we know we've got a good mix and we don't have it all in one place. So we'll go ahead, we'll get that black cow and the perlite on there and then we'll show it to you before we get it mixed. Alrighty guys, we got the black cow on and we got the perlite on there. And then we went over both beds with bone meal. We used about half of a three pound bag of bone meal. Tina's all ready to stir. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's all ready to start stirring, but she'll go ahead and get that bed. I'm going to jump over here and get this other bed mixed, and then we'll bring you back and show you what that soil looks like. All righty, guys. We've got the perlite and the black cow and the bone meal mixed into the top of the soil. And uh, we got, we're done on both beds here. 
I did the far bed. Dana did this one. You can vote down in the comments. Tell us which one did a neater job. But it's time to start planting. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring you in tight. And uh, we'll have Tina show you how we punch the holes in the dirt. And then uh, we both got to get busy planting because we got to punch about 250 carats into each one of these beds. So, guys, we'll get on that in just a second. I'll be right back. We'll show you how we punch them in. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, Tina's using two fingers, and she's just going back and forth. But she's going off camera here. We'll All right, I'll zoom come up. back up here. It's all good. <laughs> but she's just using two fingers to space the holes apart, and the rows will be this, about the same distance as that. So, guys, we're going to punch the entire surface of these boxes full of holes, and then I'll bring you back and show you what they look like. All righty, guys. As you can see, we've got the beds poked full of holes, and uh, Tina's ready with her pelleted seeds. Yeah. We'll give you a look at those. Look. But we're out of time to go through, and uh, we'll put two to a hole. That's going to mean a lot of thinning, but we want to make sure that we get a good carrot crop since we're only planting two boxes instead of four. So we will come through and thin them when they're about two inches high. Doesn't hurt them at all, but. Before she gets too big of a head start, I've got a whole box to plant too. So we'll bring you back, we'll get these planted and covered up, and we'll bring you back and show you what we do next. Alrighty guys, what we're doing now is we're soaking the beds. And guys, you want to get them really wet. They're not really going to get watered too well over the next five days. What will happen is, is we'll soak these beds down good, and then we'll cover them with newspaper. And that makes it good and dark, which carrot seeds need for germination. So we'll go ahead and uh, get these soaked up real good. We'll cover them with newspaper. Then we'll wet the newspaper to hold it down. And we'll bring you back and show you a little bit about what that looks like. But guys, you really want to get these beds good and wet. You know, you can rotate back and forth from bed to bed. When one gets soggy, go over to the other one. And then when... Uh, um, you know, you get that one soaked, the other one will have drained in, and you can go back and rewater them. We'll probably rewater these two or three times and uh, soak them down real good. But that's going to be all you need to do for right now. Just get them good and wet, and we'll come back and show you what they look like with the newspapers on. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, we've got the newspapers on top of the beds now, and we've already wetted them down. The wind's kind of blowing out here, so. We couldn't really show you putting them down and then watering them. We had to water them down as we went. So we'll leave these on for five days and then we'll take them back off. The five days will allow the seeds to germinate. And then don't expect when you pull the paper off to see carrots, they won't be up for about another five days. So good just to get them covered, let them germinate in the dark like they should. We'll water these in the morning just to keep the newspapers wet, you know, and keep them from blowing away. But that's all we have to do for the next five days. Then we'll uncover them and uh, wait a little bit and we should have a decent carrot crop for the year. Alrighty guys, that's about going to wrap it up for today's video. <laughs> we got Giggles here again. She's uh, yeah. having fun, uh, been planting carrots. Guys, we are both about <laughs> wore out. We have been out here literally all day. So Yeah, it's time for supper. I'm starving. Yeah, she's starving and I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> But guys, we had a great time getting the carrots in. Remember, when you plant them, plant them in about a three-inch grid. Plant them about three-quarters of an inch deep. Cover them with newspaper. Soak that bed before you do that. Then put the newspaper on. Yep. And then soak the newspaper so it won't blow away. Keep them covered for about five days. Take the newspaper off. And in about five more days, you should see the baby carrot start breaking the surface. So we'll follow all of that along in our upcoming videos. Tina's a... Tina's got a plan to uh, be uh, showing you around the garden here in a few days. So, yeah. guys, we'll try to keep you up on the progress of everything. But she's got plenty of uh, little things that have popped up all over the place she's eager to oh, show yes. you. So be sure to catch the next one. You guys, if you would, subscribe, and then you won't miss any of the new videos. But we'll go ahead, and I'll get out of here. We'll let uh, Gracie here send <laughs> us out. So uh, say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when we're having more fun in the garden. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. 
but yeah it's been a long day and we're about famished so <laughs> it's supper time yeah All right, guys, <laughs> we'll go ahead and get out of here. Just remember, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.